Hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, or LEGO Star Wars 2024 review, and this one's on the Ambush on Mandalore Battle Pack that is now being released. So on the front of the box here we would, would actually it's kind of a smaller size of small battle pack boxes where instead of being like rectangular, more squarish, kind of like back in 2010-11, but Odd to see that trend return, but yeah. Well, but of course, kind of save a little bit of space on the store shelves, but yeah. So on the front of it, we always have the Lego Star Wars logo and that that uh, slide border that we have been seeing since 2022, and of course, in brownish orange, indicating that it's a Mandalorian set. Then picture of the set in action, all the minifigs included. Recommended ages is six and up. Set number uh, seven five three seven three, and there. Got a nice artwork on the side. Then onto the back side, which have everything in another position, and also one of the features of it, the logos again, and there. And now onto the manual, of which on rendering like we've been seeing since mid twenty twenty two, of course. The transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and also add for the builder app. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Then the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then how you can attach it to a, how you can combine sets to expand it. So in this case, you can like buy two of it to expand it, and then also how you can combine it and expand it with the uh, Moff Gideon Mandalorian battle set which I'll be which I also got and will review soon and then all the sets of this little wave here and then the last building steps and so now on to all the mini figs included First up is a Mandalorian warrior, kind of similar to the one that we had in the Mandalorian Fangfire Tie Interceptor set last year, but similar helmet piece and all, and of course, still using the rangefinder pieces, like we saw on most earlier ones, of course, and also the same blaster pieces, but like we see on most clone troopers since 2008, and also, the same jetpack piece as the Mandalorian and Boba Fett and Jango Fett and all. And unlike the ones in the set last year, it is plain black head pieces, so kind of making it a little bit army buildable. Sort of like in the 2011 Mandalorian Battle Pack, of course. And then next to which we have a Mandalorian Night Owl, well, generic one of which would, well, the head printing kind of similar to that of the Forager and Sabine Ren and uh, what's the name? Uh, and yeah, uh, all those. Oh, and uh, Bo-Katan, of course, similar shaping to that. And however, the torso printing kind of similar to Mandalorian Warriors, of course, but luckily with the side indentations, of course. And the lake printing's sort of the same, but yeah. For that. And then next to which we have is what you get is the Imperial Commandos, which you get not one but two of in this set. But however, the torso printing quite unique and a little similar to previous uh, stormtroopers and all. But like with the belt printing, which looks good, and torso print lake printing all looking quite good for that end. Same exact blasters as all of those uh, other troopers and clone troopers all have. And then the head piecing, or the helmet piece, which looking just about like they do in the show. Like the nice sculpting and printing to it. And then to the back side, this jetpack piece, which looks kind of similar to that of the uh, jet troopers from uh, the sequel trilogy and such. But luckily done a little smaller, but also with a a printed tile piece in there, of course. And also, plain black head pieces. 
sword, which I think all the corn troopers and storm troopers, mostly storm troopers, should all have. Um, in, instead of like actual faces to that, but yeah. But however, uh, not sure if the uh, Mandalorian ones are worth army building, but the uh, Imperial Commandos are well worth the army building part of it, but yeah. And that is about it with that. Now into the main build of it itself. Oh, whoops. Actually, the first part of it is this little torrent, which is just about like the one that came in the uh, 332nd Trooper Battle Pack last year, but, uh, but however, it still has the uh, firing stud shooter on it. But yeah. And now on to and, oh, and also is this little crate part, which also comes in the bigger uh, Moff Gideon dual set as well, but where it's like just a crate piece with a couple of bracket, hanging brackets on the sides and cheese slopes there. So this was a kind of similar case to the crate that came in the Imperial Hover Tank and the uh, Battle on Scarab sets for Rogue One in 2016-17, of course. Like, same build, but with no changes at all, but yeah. But however, it has the uh, little jumper plate on top where you can pull it off and then have a couple thermal detonators in there. And that is about it there. And now onto the main build itself. Which, obviously, kind of a small, simplistic build and... Which, unlike like some small builds and... Also, uh, not sure if I don't remember it. Now I don't recall if there were any other battle pack builds that were like this, but if there was, then... Oh, wait. Actually, there was with the 2022 uh, Snow Trooper battle pack that there was. Sort of a terrain-like build to it. But, but luckily, this is a kind of more ex a complex one, rather than like being solid white like that one. And of course, like consisting of light gray, dark gray, and dark tan, which is kind of nice, good color scheme for that. Like this one side of which, which is a large wedge plate, which you get just one of in this set, of course, with a few bits around it. But and also has this little clip brick on the side, so you can connect it to either another one of this build or to the one in the Moff Gideon battle set, which I'll go over soon. Which I'll go over in my next review. And then on one side, which is just a bunch of jagged slopes, which, and of course, which we kind of see a little bit here and there. Well, even though curved slopes have kind of taken over in most modern day Lego designs. And then one side, which has a mixel ball socket joint right here. And then also a couple of technic bits of which that holds this little clear beam kind of piece on it enough to like stand a fig onto it then make it look like they're flying around and, and with a good bit of posability to it and, yeah. and then the, the like little entryway which is a pair of jagged and inverted slopes around there and a little more on top of that and then also a little board uh, jagged slopes on there and a little bar like piece on the side of it so you can again attach it to the uh, uh, Moff game battle set and the and another copy of this set as well of course and then also like the dark trooper attack set two years ago where where this uh, inverted slope of which had a couple studs on the side to represent the indicator lights and buttons and then on the side of it, which is mostly the interior uh, speaking side of it, where kind of a lot of emptiness there, but also a rifle that is just on a clip instead of being held by a mini fig, even though you can let one of the mini figs hold it if you wanted. But yeah. And then as for the playability, which not much to that, just the posable 
uh, uh, stamp, clear stamp for that. But just nothing else. Also, it would be nice if there was a blow up feature or to it, like in like some sets kind of do. But yeah, let's play that. Let's get out. Let me get everything in. And so now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict is I think this is which a kind of good battle pack or kind of good set and battle pack wise kind of good for how it is. Like obviously the Imperial Commandos are kind of worth are a little bit worth army building. The two Mandalorian ones kind of fit as well, but Unlike with the last couple, or the last Mandalorian battle pack from 2020, which did have, which was all Mandalorians and were all different colors, of course. But that one wasn't much worth much army building, but this one, I think, kind of bit is, or at least a little bit is. Well, well, just for the Imperial Commandos for that. But however, for the builds of which, still kind of works out as a good parts pack of Jagged Slopes in like both dark gray and dark tan, of course. And then, and of course, nice for to have for a Mandalorian bunker mock if you want to, and also to extend to the uh, larger set of this wave as well. But yeah, and for the twenty dollar price point that foul packs uh, nowadays are, I would still, I would still kind of good for how it is, even though it would be nice if it were worth a little less. But of course equal out price points is like all battle packs nowadays tend to be. Although I think it would have been nice if there were some different uh, features to it instead of having this little torrent kind of build, which was from a previous battle pack, but yeah. Well, I'm not going to nitpick much, but however, but as is, still quite good for how it is, but yeah. And if you are looking to get some Imperial Commandos for your Imperial Army, I say definitely pick it up. And if you are looking to continue your Mandalorian uh, set collection, also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.